The arc tool in SketchUp is a three-step process and is based on defining the two endpoints of the arc first, then pulling out the bulge or radius of the arc. Pick the tool, then click once to set the first endpoint of the arc. Pull away and click again to set the second endpoint. Then move the cursor back and forth to define the arc radius and click a third time to finish. When pulling out the radius of the arc, make sure to watch the inference direction, as it's easy to pull the arc in various directions. You can type in an exact radius for the arc if needed, and there are some built-in clues as well to help you be accurate. For example, let's place an arc on the end of this rectangle. As we pull the arc out, SketchUp snaps and tells us when we're at a perfect half circle. The arc tool will also help you draw arcs that are perfectly tangent to two edges. In our example, we have a 90 degree corner, a 120 degree corner, and a 30 degree corner. Start by clicking on one edge, then move to the next edge and move your cursor slowly along the edge until the arc line changes to a magenta color. Watch the color change as we find the tangent point. Click to accept the second point, then move the cursor slowly to find the tangent arc. Again, the line will change color when you found the tangent arc and SketchUp indicates that you are indeed tangent to edge. Click to finish. Let's try again on different angles. Click on an edge to start, Move to the next edge and move slowly until that arc line snaps and becomes magenta. Click that point and move away to find the magenta arc that is tangent to both edges. That's it. One, two, three, and done. The arc tool will also help you draw multiple arcs together in sequence so they continue smoothly. It works like this. Start an arc from the endpoint of an existing arc. As you pull away, the arc line is blue and tangent to the endpoint of the last arc. Simply finish the arc and start again. In this way, you can draw a complex series of edges that join together very smoothly. If you don't want to keep the new arc tangent to the previous one, simply pull away a different radius before finishing the arc. The last thing to understand about arcs is that they are like circles in SketchUp, in that they are not perfect arcs, but rather a series of straight edges that behave as one entity. By default, arcs are made up of 12 segments. You can change the number of segments, though, by typing in a new number while drawing the arc followed by the letter S for sides. Start drawing the arc, type in 5S, and hit the Enter key to create a five-sided arc. Draw another arc and type in 12S and return to the default 12-sided arc. You can also get information and change the arc segments by right or context clicking on the arc and going to its entity info.